Right. Uh, so in this video, we are going to go through uh, how to add users in ERP Next. So to your left here, you can see this is the menu. You can just click on this menu and then click on uh, users. And then you come here again, click on user. Below here, you can see these are the list of users that are there in the system. You can add uh, your users from here. So to add your users, you can just click on add user. Here you need to click on edit in full form so that you can see a bigger form. After that, uh, you come here, you go on email, you enter the you enter the user. So let's say that is the name of the user. I put the email. You copy the user. Also the username, just put the email. Then here you put the first name. Then you put your surname here and also your time zone. Always make sure you put your time zone. Make sure the time zone is correct. And then after that, you save. So after you save, you see that notification. Just close that notification. And then the next stage, you, you go on user roles. So on user roles, you need to select the roles that your user is going to be using. If the person is only going to be under sales manager, and having sales user, sales, only those three, you just tick all those three. But if the user is going to be an administrator, just click on select all, and then all the rights will be selected. Here you can unselect. Let me just give this user these three rights only. And after that, you can click on save. And then our user roles is saved. So next, I go to settings. Under settings, you want to put the password, so you click on change password, and then here you need to put the password. Make sure you put a stronger password. So here I'm going to put this password. So that is my password, and then I save. All right. Uh, so I want to see all the users that are now in the system. You just click on user there, and then you can see this is the user that we just added. To add another user, just go again, add user, edit in full form, and then you click on user details, enter the email, enter username, enter the time zone, etc., etc. So that's it for adding users.